Happy New Year's Day. Jay and I started an attic project, and I know I've talked about this in some of my vlogs and in some of my videos. Well, we started an attic project where we were really cleaning out the attic after my son moved out of the uh, apartment, which I call the hayloft. As he moved out, one of the things that we had have wanted to do for the longest time is tackle our attic and tackle some of the crap we have accumulated. So today, <laughs> It's just an ongoing project. I have boxes all over the place. We have stuff that we pull down from the attic. It's like amazing. I just found People magazines from when Diana, Princess Diana died, collector's editions. Oh, unbelievable. I, it's, it's really sad because I don't know what to do with all this stuff. You know, I really don't. So some of the stuff obviously has been donated to Goodwill and we've been like shifting stuff from the attic that we want to go through in the spring but our attic is uh, it's a hip roof so we really can't stand straight up except in the middle so we've been shifting the stuff that we think has some you know some sentimental value or maybe even other other type of value we've been shifting it to boxes to the hayloft to my son's apartment so that we can go through it at our leisure in the spring when the weather's warm but this is like a never-ending project and every time <laughs> every time we dump stuff out of the project I say to Jay the house feels lighter don't I say that to you hon? yeah the house feels lighter so thankfully this place this goodwill place that um, is in one of the next towns over they actually take books and magazines so I'm not going to get rid of my Princess Diana stuff but I am going to get rid of all the other books that I have piles and piles and piles body for life oh southern new hampshire eating out guide <laughs> don't start going through it because then you're going to say oh i want this you'll be cherry picking and then next thing you know we'll have more stuff so yeah so um that's what i'm doing today and i keep saying that one of my goals is i'm going to start doing some regular vlogs again i always enjoyed the vlogs but I do feel it kind of boring, so today's just that low-key day. Housework, laundry, <laughs> attic, <laughs> never-ending. So I've been working all day in here, and I have not, I mean, I've not gotten very far in here at all. <laughs> Look at this pile of crap I have to go through. No, and I haven't really gotten very far. I bought a, a back, like a big curtain that I wanted to like cover this whole area with because I've had, every time I film in here, I usually get a few um, suggestions that I declutter behind me. <laughs> and I just, I, you know, I live in a small house and, um, you know, this home office here, it it's shared with, like, don't don't look at the mess because I haven't finished. It's shared with real estate stuff. It's shared with my dolls up there. Um, I won't even show you on that side because it's a really small room, but it's just, you know, there's no way. I just don't have a filming area. And so I bought this cloth. I'll show it to you. I thought, I thought maybe I could hang this over the bookshelf and hide it but when I when I tried to hang it up it just didn't work <laughs> so I don't know it just didn't work I don't know I don't know hmm. story of my life but anyways we're grilling a big thick juicy ribeye and cauliflower with Parmesan cheese is being roasted. And then during dinner, we're going to watch Outlander season one, the very first episode again. I'm like so happy Jay found it on demand, you know, because sometimes it's harder to find those things. But I'm so happy he found it on demand. So that's what we're going to watch during dinner. And um, then I'm going to try to get back in here and really finish up this project somehow. Hey, so did you ever hear that statement? When you don't know what to do, do nothing at all. And that's what I ended up after all day yesterday trying to work on my bookshelf. And I had bought the cover and all that. It's, it just, I don't know, I couldn't figure it out. So I have like this little lacy thing on the top shelf. I think I'll take that down. 
but I'm not going to paint over the wood and it doesn't match the antique cabinet over there and I'm not going to hide my Barbie doll so I think when I film in here um, I'm just going to have to suck it up with the background I have. Anyways, I was going to say happy Monday, but it's happy Wednesday. The week is half over, almost over. I'm heading to my Londonderry office, and then there's a storm supposedly coming in tomorrow. And I'm supposed to go up to Wolfboro, New Hampshire, for my office up there, which is a long, it's like an hour and a half, but it's not highway. It's, you know, back roads and byways. <laughs> so it's like... If the weather's bad, it's it's going to be a horrible, horrible nightmare. So I'm thinking of trying to postpone that. I don't know yet, so we'll see. Anyways, um, yeah, this is my attempt at my vlog again. And yeah, I still have so much to do in here. I have to clean all my real estate stuff up. You know, I have, I have makeup. I have a giveaway pile that, you know, I wanted to do for a giveaway. And, um... Maybe I'll check in with you guys later, but if not... It's 23 degrees in the car. 23. Oh God, I had some of these, you know, I mean, it's kind of like, that's a really interesting one. Oh. Oh, still have some more. I think I'm going to leave those up there, though, and just concentrate on trying to empty these. This one over here. Mardi Gras. They're not worth anything. Of course, now you can see the crack in the wall. Ah. Oh. But maybe is that less? Nobody's ever going to see that. Is that less distracting? Looks weird to me. Literally. Oh my gosh, I'm nothing, oh wow, I'm nothing but, anyways, yeah, I should just um, pack it in, so my face is all peeling, <laughs> don't look at me, <laughs> anyways, I bought two tubs, two big, big storage tub thingies, you know, and I filled them both up, but I still have like, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know, I still have like about... 20 dolls, 20 Barbie dolls in here. I think I'm going to have a big yard sale. Real big yard sale. So I worked on my ongoing little project in here trying to declutter. And what I ended up, to, you see the gap? There's a gap up there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop at either Home Goods or Marshalls on my way home tonight and probably pick up some, I don't know, some, a picture or something to fill that gap, you know, maybe something with a little bit of color. So I got rid of a lot of Barbie dolls and put them in bins and getting carried up to, you know, to our storage. I decided this cabinet, this antique bureau behind me over here, this is like a really cool antique cabinet, like a writing desk or you know, the thing folds down. It's got little compartments and it's like really cool. I decided that's going to stay there. Um, I have no other place to put it. And I also decided that some Barbie dolls will stay there. But this will be my primary. You can see my clothes hanging there. My primary filming. So I think when I'm sitting here filming, that's pretty well all you're going to see behind me, I think. I hope. And um, yeah, and the clothes on the door will be gone. <sighs> Yeah, dilemmas, dilemmas, right? So it's Thursday. I'm heading out. I'm heading to Portsmouth and then Wolfboro, New Hampshire, and it is snowing out. So I'm not looking forward to my ride. Oh, I am listening to. I'll turn it down. Her name was Donna. I'm listening to Stephanie Farrell Focus's podcast on the mature YouTube beauty community and her interview with Susan from Little Poet. It's going to be my entertaining ride to work in the snow this morning. So I think this podcast is a little over an hour and that's about how long it'll take me to get there. So listening to Susan, Little Poet, and Stephanie Farrell Focus, two awesome YouTubers. Yeah, so that's what, that's how I, and then I look at the clock and it's 5 a.m. So I just spent six hours 
and, and 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 in that six hours, what I have is my intro of my video, which is one minute forty five seconds. Oh my gosh! So this is Lake Winnipesaukee in the snow. I don't often get to see it like this, even though it's not frozen solid. Still. Isn't it beautiful? It's cold though, but it's gorgeous. TGIF, it's Friday. And I'm heading to London now. I get to prepare for Verona U next week. So it's going to be like a big training class. And now they're saying there might be a storm coming in. So that means I might have to prepare for a postponement, which I don't like. But I just wanted to share with you. If you've, you might have seen this on Instagram if you watch my Instagram stories. But I, this is what I ended up doing with my shelf behind me. So I, I'll still film in the bathroom at times, but once I set my tripod up in the right position, I'm using my selfie camera here, not my selfie, my vlogging camera. But once I set up my tripod with my filming camera set up, I would really like to just leave it in that kind of a location and not have to lug it around or move it around. So I really want to be able to set that up. I still have to get rid of the clothes. I still have some, a lot of stuff I have to do in here, but I'm really happy. Look at my little high heel. Let me show you this. That's a shot glass. <laughs> I love it. And then I just ended up putting some of my hair, my hair clips. You know, the pretty hair clips I have in this little crystal bowl with some gaudy jewelry hanging over it. And I updated the frames, the picture frames, so I'm happy with the picture frames being updated. And uh, and I still have some Barbie dolls, you know. I still have, like, my Mackies out and I have my bubble cut, but I still have some of my pink box specials out, too. But not, not nearly as many because, I'll tell you, emptying out those two big tubs made a huge difference. So, yeah, so now I'm off to London. I don't know what the day will bring, but we'll see. Jay just committed the cardinal sin. I asked him yesterday when he was going to the grocery store if he could get me a couple. I said, one or two good honey crisps. So usually you have to go through a pile of them in the grocery store because they're getting old this time of year, you know, obviously. So I want them nice, nice and firm. I don't want them overly ripe, right? I'm a honey crisp snob. So I didn't look last night. I just knew that he got me some honey crisp. So packing my little school bag up and he's got the car started. And I was like, all right, now I'm gonna go grab my apples. He bought honey crisp apples in a bag, in a closed bag. I freaked out. I mean, who buys honey crisp apples like that? Nobody, because they usually just put the rejects in the bag. He's ignoring me. Love you, babe. Just don't like a bag of honey crisp like that. No, no, won't buy you honey crisp ever don't buy again. me honey crisp in a bag like I'm that. Buy you honey crisp ever again. He's offended. I think. So my annual temperature check-in: 30 degrees. 30. It's almost a heat wave. I meant to say my daily check-in. Did I say annual? Oh my gosh, daily. 30 degrees. And I bet you by the time we get to London there, it'll be like 32, maybe 33, because it'll warm up up there. So my town is doing mandatory recycling. So they gave us these big trash bins that we have to do, and it started January 1st. So the first trash pickup is mandatory recycling. So Jay puts the darn recycle things on the bottom of the driveway this morning almost in the middle of the driveway almost in the middle of the driveway and you know when you when you and he did say to me inside the house at one point he said don't hit the trash recycle bins when you back out of the driveway and I said oh yeah no big deal you know but then I got when I by the time I packed up and got in the car and and all that and um out of sight, out of mind. And I didn't see it because the back end of my car is high. I didn't see it. So I just drove down the driveway and I <laughs> he hit them. And they, they went, they're on wheels. <laughs> they're on wheels. They went flying in the middle of the road. 
like so I quickly put the car in park quickly 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 because I wanted to jump out and rescue my recycle bins before Jay saw them but apparently he must the house so I like in the middle of the road trying to save the recycle wheelie thing and Jay comes out and he's like cracking up laughing he says I told you not to hit him I said yeah but that was a long time so we're having this argument I'm like saying why do you have these stupid things in the middle of the driveway he says they're not and anyways it did warm up it's 34 degrees in legendary <laughs> this is sort of like the finished product I know you probably can't see it because of the lighting but it's a really pretty high heel up there. I'm going to go a little closer because I think I love that picture. And I've got my bubble cut, my Mackie, my Mackie. Isn't she pretty? And then on the second shelf, you know, some creative rearranging. I added new picture frames. I think I might have already mentioned that. And, and then this, you know, I added another new picture frame here. And this is just a crystal thing, and I got some, you know, blue gads and my barrettes for my hair, my clips for my hair, and, you know, stuff like that. And I thought, oh, well, that'd be a pretty place to put it. So that's what I did. And then the high heel <laughs> with the shot glass empty. And then down on this shelf, I have the, and I, you know, this may not stay this way, but I have this picture I really like that lashes and lipstick I'm not a fan of these candles but I put them here for now and then over here another picture of Jay and I and a little candle and this is just um I don't even know where I got this this is old I've had this for a long time it was in a bag I never used it it was up my attic that attic clean out stuff so yeah and I would find a place for my leaves for my table that kind of sit there but this is I think what the filming area is going to be looking so I'm actually kind of happy with it what do you think do you think that looks I mean like you know when I shoot a video so when I shoot a video I'd probably be not like that but you know probably I don't know you know but anyways that'll be my background you may or may not see it but I'm hoping it serves the purpose of being less cluttered so now oh I ordered from Macy's I'll show you these two tops so I ordered this sweater let me turn it around then I'll be able to see it better I really like that one a lot it's big it's oversized I probably could have gotten away with a downsizing one but I really like this like ribbed texture here and I like this color and it's got a little zippered sleeve so I thought that was really cool and this other one that I, I um, bought from Macy's again online I like this one too this is a wool a wool type sweater and I like it I think it's it's very soft it's very pretty I like the sleeves kind of like a bell sleeve and it's got like the little scalloping on the sides is that what you call it little ribbing ribbing so yeah that's what I bought from Macy's I like it and so while I like it um, I'm going to try this one on and my only concern is the it's kind of I don't know I'm gonna look at the material but my only concern when you have like this type of wool material whether you know it, it um, nubies up is that the right word for it it nubies up so I'm hoping it's not gonna nubie up anyways I am heading it's Saturday but I don't think I said that I'm heading down to my office where I am going to Ooh, and I don't know, I, I'm i not too sure when this um, this will be published, and I'm not too sure when the podcast will be published, but I'm actually going to be interviewed on a podcast, and I'm not super nervous, not yet, <laughs> I don't think I'm nervous, but, um, you know, the other day on the way to work, I was listening to a podcast that Stephanie Farrell Focus had done with Susan Little Poet, so yeah, it's going to be my turn in the hot seat. I hope she's gentle with me. I hope. I hope. I hope. So I'll let you know how that goes. And again, this may be published before that gets published. But if that gets published before this gets published, I'll put a link to the podcast down below. If not, 
I'll probably come back and add the link after the fact. So if you watch this and there's no link for the podcast and you want to watch or listen to the podcast, which are really cool, you know I'm a podcast and not anyways, then you can just come back and check for that link and you can go take a listen. So we had a, a huge change of plans, huh? Instead of going to Jameson's, we're going, you're going to Ulta with me? Yeah, Ulta. <laughs> And then we're going to go to a little restaurant afterwards. And I just came back from recording or being interviewed in a podcast. Oh yeah, how'd it go? You know what? It was a lot of fun. It really was. So, do you remember Stephanie Farrell Focus? Yeah. Her, okay. Yeah. So, because we did that collab, the yeah, camping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she started a podcast, and I, I think I was. I think it was the third person she's interviewed. I'm not too sure now. Maybe the fourth. I I, I don't know. But um, so she asked questions, and it was it was really cool because we weren't like it wasn't like we were looking at each other. We we're just like as if we were talking on the phone. Huh? And the well, conversation. Oh, you'd, you'd be good at that. <laughs> you mean I gab? A little bit. Yeah. And the conversation just flowed. It was like really awesome. It just it just kind of flowed. Oh, I have my geeky glasses on, but. Yeah, it was like a, it was a super super fun. I I want to say I think we I think we talked for about an hour. <laughs> yeah, well it's three thirty now. I thought it started at two, so probably a little bit longer than an hour. So I don't know. She's gonna edit probably a lot of it out. You know, who knows? And maybe it'll end up being fifteen minutes in total. But I don't know. But we just gabbing. We were gabbing about YouTube. We we're gabbing about growing channels. How we started. It was. It was a lot, a lot of fun. I can't wait to hear the yeah. So it wasn't project. A, wasn't a live podcast. It, it was it, no. Okay. Most podcasts are not live. Yeah, They're right. recorded, and then posted Post, publicly. Okay, cool. You know, you can if you get to the point of being a really super you know, well-known podcaster and you have the funds, you probably can do a live podcast and record at the same time. Uh, so I'm sure there's a way to do that. Probably. Anyways, it was a blast. I enjoyed it. Well, I know you want to do a podcast on your own, so... I would love to do that. And I was telling her, that in, you know, initially when I was thinking about podcasting, it was more on, you know, real estate, social media, a little bit of everything, not necessarily on, on, on and video. Did you talk about how great I am? I did tell her you had a podcast as well. I mean, you had a YouTube channel. She knows that. Yeah. Did tell her how great you were. <laughs> so, but it was it was awesome. We're going to Alta because I have to go to Alta. There's something I really need in Alta. Really need I really need it. Really, really, really need. And then we're going to go to this really cool little restaurant called Telly's. By the time we get there, it'll be about five, probably. It'll still be early enough. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and then and then we'll come home, and then unless, maybe I'll edit the vlog. Unless all the old folks are there, like us, early. Old folks. Old folks. Love you, baby. I think we're in the old folks category. Now. We're in the old folks category. So we get the senior discounts, don't we? We oh yeah. <laughs> Did you? Are you really good at getting your seniors discounts now at Dunkin' Donuts? Well, now that you've you know educated you, educated me on asking for it. I ask for it every single time. <laughs> Oh. But of course, every time I go in there, they say, oh, you can't be over. You can't be because you're just so, you know, and I just tell them, yeah, I am. Oh, they think you're such a young stud muffin, huh? They do. They keep saying, I can't believe you're getting that senior discount. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, everyone. We are having dinner at Tully's, an early dinner, and it is going to be so... Good. That. What is that, mister? Yummy, yummy. <laughs> he has love in his tummy. No, he has chocolate in his... Whoa. I'm not going to share that. Jay just asked if it was bad if he licked the plate in public. I told him, yeah. He could do it at home, but not in public. And dinner out was fun, although... I did have a little bit too much chocolate <laughs> just standing there. I wasn't going to admit to having that chocolate, but I did. I ate some fish dessert. <laughs> yeah, so I get a little bit of an alcohol. And then this is, I really wanted to try this dry shampoo A, number one, to bring down the shine on my wigs, but also was really curious to see how this might cover up a little gray in between. And then the 
the banana powder and the space lighter and then I love this stuff you know this I mean essence has stuff so color correcting this is the pink I've been using this for a while I really like it and then I got some new lippies oh my goodness I forgot to say good night to you all I was just getting ready to take off all my makeup I was gonna strip off my eyes and strip off my foundation and all that stuff and I said oh, I've got to go end the vlog because I know this is getting super super long and you know I hate over 20 minute vlogs and I know this is probably gonna be about 28 minutes long but I truly truly appreciate every single one of you watching I will definitely link all the information for the podcast and Stephanie's channel. And I do hope you go watch the podcast because, or go listen, I should say, to the podcast. And the nice thing about that is you can have, you know, your earphones on, you can walk around the house, you can do laundry, you can do all sorts of stuff while you're listening, not having to watch. So thanks so much for joining me. I'll share my lippies with you in another uh, podcast. I got two really pretty colors that I really like. But I'm tired. It's late and this is getting long and I want to strip down all my makeup. See you later, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, and if you haven't already, please, please subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, and leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it. Thank you all so very much. Bye, guys.